Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of why persistence overweighs talent alone. The truth is there are many people in this world that are talented and brilliant, but very few show their gifts to the world and become successful. So why does this happen? Persistence and determination to make your goals a reality is what creates results and momentum. Talent alone will never make you successful because without taking the necessary actions to showcase your talent and show the world what you're made of, your dreams will remain just that, dreams. If we look at anyone who is incredibly successful, we see their trajectory of action failing until they succeeded. Without the grit and determination to put the work in 24 seven to make your goal happen, it's impossible to take your career to the next level. Remember, you were put on this earth for a reason with a unique set of abilities and talents that makes you uniquely special. If you have a dream, don't stop taking action until it becomes a reality. As Calvin Coolidge quotes, nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not, nothing is more common than the unsuccessful man with talent. Genius will not, unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not, the world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. You have a very famous list of patients. Let's talk about that. I know Michael Jordan is one, the royal family. So let's talk about your famous clientele. I had a quite an interesting list of patients that would come to me by word of mouth. So I've had Hollywood A-list actors. I, I became the doctor of the official doctor of the the dream team. Uh, that's how I got to be friends with Michael Jordan. Wow. Uh, I wow. took care of the dream team. Their, their base camp was in Monaco uh, mm -hmm. before going to the Barcelona Olympic Games. So I was very lucky. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next on the show, we have Dr. Michael McNamara, who is the founder of AO Life Premium Antioxidant, which we will be discussing today. Dr. Michael has served as a medical doctor to the Royal Family of Monaco and has a list of globally famous patients that include Michael Jordan, Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, and world leaders. Dr. Michael, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm great, Darielle. Thank you. It's an honor. Thank you very much for having me on the show today. Thank you. You know what, we were just talking about our, your story and you were saying that you're currently based in Malaysia. So tell our audience a little bit about what you're up to right now. Yes, uh, I, I arrived here on the 14th of February, also known as Valentine's Day 2020, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, for a one week uh, mini holiday, uh, taking a break from where I live currently is in Shanghai with offices in Singapore mm -hmm. uh, for an antioxidant uh, supplement company I just started. And I thought I would be here for a week just to get away from the, the hustle and bustle of Singapore and Shanghai. And 13 months later, I'm still here uh, living in a hotel, wonderful place in downtown Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And I couldn't tell the world and your viewers how happy I am to have landed on my feet. It's a wonderful place, wonderful people, amazing food, uh, multiple cultures that get along. And it's, uh, it's been a great experience. That's great. I'm so glad that you're happy where you are because there's a lot of people that are stuck in places they don't want to be. So I'm so happy you're loving the experience. It sounds like a beautiful place. I want to talk a little bit about your background as a medical doctor. It's very impressive. So talk to us a little bit about your experience. Yes. Um, so what happened was I, well, I followed a, more or less a traditional pathway. I grew up in Michigan, went to the University of Michigan undergrad and medical school. Not knowing what to do, I happened to stumble upon a, a magazine, a journal called Scientific American in the waiting room when I was uh, studying medicine my fourth year. And I saw this amazing picture of a brain, mm -hmm. uh, a new scan of something called, at that time, NMR imaging. And I said, that's what I want to do. I want to take pictures of people's insides because I've always loved photography anyway. Uh, I'm half Japanese, originally conceived in Japan, so it's kind of in my genes to love photography, I think, tongue in cheek. Um, so I, I did an internship in general surgery and medicine in San Diego, mm -hmm. uh, followed by a residency and f fellowship and specialization in MRI scanning at the University of California, San Francisco, which was the place that created and funded the very first uh, commercially made uh, MRI scanner. So. 
that got me uh, a, a great specialization, but I happened to study the heart for reasons we'll discuss a bit later because I had a family situation that got me into medicine. And mm -hmm. I was really into finding ways to non-invasively, meaning without danger, diagnose heart disease. And I happened to make the first discovery of how MRI can actually detect heart attack in humans. And I was oh, the oh, first oh. author of the very first publication in circulation uh, of imaging MRI scanning of a heart attack. And that put me on the map, scientifically speaking, lectured around the world. I was still in my 20s and I got recruited by the Prince of Monaco to go to open the very first MRI scanner in all of Europe at the Princess Grace Hospital of Monaco. Wow. And I became oh. a consultant for the royal family, for all the stars and celebrities that live in Monaco. Uh, but mostly for me, it was exciting, Dariel, because I had the, uh, of course, I had the, the, I was the only kid in town, so I had the only MRI in all of Europe, so I was quite in, in high demand, but also having the only machine, I also got to do what my real passion was, was to do preventive medicine. Mm -hmm. And you right. might hear me say this over and over again, but my mantra is don't chase after disease, prevent disease. And so I tried to figure out how to use this MRI along with other imaging to do a body check, a whole body checkup. And I set up a series of clinics in, in Monaco, of course, where I was practicing, in Modena, Italy, where the Ferraris are made, mm -hmm. in Moscow, Russia. You have a very famous list of patients. Let's talk about that. I know Michael Jordan is one, the royal family. So let's talk about your famous clientele. Yes, yeah, so when I created the series of, of ch checkup clinics in Monaco, Italy, and Russia, uh, it was quite novel because th that wasn't the routine way medicine was practiced. Usually you get a headache first, then you get the scan. Mm -hmm. But my, met my mantra was get the scan before the headache gets to you and before anything gets to you, whether it's heart disease, stroke, cancer, etc. So uh, because it was quite novel, I had a quite an interesting list of patients that would come to me by word of mouth. So I've had Hollywood A-list actors. I, I became the doctor of the official doctor of the the dream team. Uh, that's how I got to be friends with Michael Jordan. Wow. Uh, wow. I took care of the dream team. Their, their base camp was in Monaco uh, mm -hmm. before going to the Barcelona Olympic Games. So I was very lucky. Uh, all I had to do was play golf with Michael every day, so <laughs> <laughs> he was nice and healthy. Uh, but I've had a lot of interesting patients. I mean, pop stars like Tina Turner, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Wow. I took care of tennis players in the world, Novak Djokovic, Rafa Nadal. So yeah, I've had a, a very enriched uh, career with very interesting people. But the thing is, it's not about whether they're rich or famous. It's that these people have a choice. Being rich and famous, they can really go anywhere they want. It's mostly about the trust in my method mm -hmm. because it really was, uh, I was really saving people's lives rather than wait to get a check up the routine way with an electrocardiogram, uh, look in your eyes, ears, nose, throat, and palpate the, the belly. I was more interested to find that heart attack, stroke, or cancer before it really got out there and, and killed the patient or, or worse. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned that your passion is preventative medicine, so let's talk a little bit about that. Yes, Daria. My, it's always been about prevention. The, the reason I became a doctor in the first place, when I was a, a freshman in university, I really didn't know what I was going to do. My father was in pro professional sports. Uh, that's why he met my mom. He was living in Japan. And then uh, he, was a, he was a baseball player, actually. I wanted to always follow his footsteps. I love baseball. I love all sports, like everybody in my family did. But mm -hmm. I wasn't going to be that star. I, I could see that, even though I was uh, I was an okay player at everything. But I wasn't not the, going to be that professional. So my freshman year, not knowing what to study, I got a phone call in the night from my parents saying that my grandfather, my father's father, mm -hmm. had suffered mm -hmm. a massive heart attack complicated by a stroke. So I had to get in the car, leave school, University of Michigan, drive up north to where they live, up in the northern part of Michigan, and watch him for the next 10 days in the intensive care unit, not get better. And he was in a coma. And the doctor said, look, it's time we have to pull the plug. He's not going to get, going to get out of this. Um, so we got to say our goodbyes through the, through the big window pane glass of the intensive care unit. And when it was my turn, I held his hand. He actually came out of the coma, woke up just like he was taking a nap. And he said, Michael, how's school? Because he was an educator. He was a teacher, my grandfather, and everything to him was education. Everything that I learned was from him. And he was like, how's school? What are you studying? I said, well, I said, Grandpa, I don't know. And he said, listen, don't worry. Find something you love so much. You do it for free, and you'll be happy. 
and he sunk back into a coma right after and I was the last wow. person to oh. ever speak to him so it was very powerful but mo moreover after that I asked mom and dad why did grandpa have a heart attack why did he have a stroke we didn't have doctors in my family and that led me on the pathway to find out why to study to learn and that that dragged me into the into the realm of studying pre-medical studies and then becoming a doctor Wow, I love that, that you know, you have a powerful story behind why you became a doctor and it's also your passion and you can see that and I think that's why you've been so successful. You know, you talked about preventative medicine and you know, right now, I know you started the AO Life Premium Antioxidant. Um, so let's talk a little bit about that creation and what it is. Yes, uh, very good question. AO Life Antioxidant is the result, is the culmination of my entire career actually, because as I was practicing for 30 years and 115,000 patients, I, I saw these things that kept recurring, that common things are common. This is one thing I learned in medical school. It sounds silly, but it's not. Mm -hmm. And the reasons my patients were suffering and dying was the big three, heart attack, stroke, and cancer. Mm -hmm. So there were, these are preventable. Every heart attack, nearly every stroke, and many cancers are preventable. So I said, wait a minute, rather than see patients one at a time, I'm living in Monaco. And what is Monaco? You wouldn't believe this, Dariel. It's the longest living nation in the world, even greater in longevity than that of Japan. Mm -hmm. You won't always see Monaco listed because it's such a small sample size. But I, I saw why people were living long. I lived there for 25 odd years. It's the Mediterranean diet, ranked by the World News uh, and, and, and World Report this year for the fourth consecutive year, the best, healthiest diet in the world. And Monaco is the help the Mediterranean diet. So what is that? That's very little meat, fish, berries, nuts, but mostly, veg obviously fruits and vegetables, but extra virgin olive oil. So I did a deep dive into the extra virgin olive oil and I said, wait a minute, what is it in that substance that helps you to live longer in the olive oil? And it turns out that it's this thing called polyphenol. And the polyphenol, the particular one is called hydroxytyrosol. So I made it my goal to source this molecule. How can I get that into a bottle of this size as a daily supplement and get it into a drink that people can take once a day to have the Mediterranean diet if they don't live in the Mediterranean Sea area? And that's how I ended up making AO Life because it really is the essence of the extra virgin olive oil with zero oil by the way it's just the compound in a bottle so what I call Mediterranean diet in a bottle. Mm -hmm. And I heard that the ingredients come from a 2,000 year old tree <laughs> in Italy so talk to us yeah. about that uh, talk to us about the why it's so powerful this tree. Yes, Ariel, you know all my secrets, so I'm going to divulge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody everything. It's all of the secrets out, that's out of the bag. I'm sharing all the secrets. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, it's a great story, actually. I call this the tree of life because deep in the heart of Italy, there are trees that live to be thousands of years old. And the reason they live so long, up to two centuries, is because they don't die. They're impervious to bacteria, viruses, drought, cold, pests, you name it. And they are impervious to or disease or relatively impervious because they are able to manufacture inside the tree, in the leaves, the fruit, the bark, the roots, these substances called polyphenol. Mm -hmm. This is a particular species of olive. And when they harvest the olive and squeeze it to make olive oil, oil comes out of the olive. But what people don't realize is that only 2% of those valuable polyphenols, which are called hydroxytyrosol, 2% gets into the oil because it doesn't naturally mix in oil. The rest of it all goes into the water that's discarded. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I partnered with the owner of thousands of these valuable trees in Umbria, Italy, halfway between Rome and Florence, and we recovered the water. We patented a method to filter and condense the water but from nine to one, therefore nine liters becomes one. We put it into a bottle and this is the equivalent of in water. This is water, I say, you, you put it into a glass of water like this, pour it in and drink it. No oil whatsoever. And this is a daily dose. It's the equivalent of one whole bottle of extra virgin olive oil wow. without having to drink the olive oil. 
That's incredible. That's actually very interesting. And I know that um, this antioxidant also helps to fight free radicals um, in the body, especially in North America. That's a big issue for us with so much pollution. So talk to us a little bit about how that um, the vitamin helps to do that. Yes, uh, you've done your homework. As I'm very impressed. The, <laughs> one out of eight deaths in the world is related to air pollution. Mm -hmm. And air pollution, when we breathe in smoke, secondary smoke, or uh, air pollution from exhaust, from hydrocarbons, or we don't sleep, or we're overweight, we don't exercise, we have pesticides from foods, from chemical fertilizers, all of those entities, once they touch our body, produce what was what's called free radicals. Free radicals are met molecules inside our body that cause disease. They happen to be missing one electron from their structure. And in order for them to become balanced and not dangerous, they go pick out that electron from our healthy tissues, from our blood, from our liver, from our brain uh, and our DNA. And they can cause mutations that lead to disease, to cancer. Free radicals are related to heart attack, stroke, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, diabetes or pre-diabetes, high cholesterol, Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. These are all related to free radicals and they can all be solved by taking an antioxidant, which happens to be a free donor of electrons to neutralize these free radicals and get rid of them permanently. Mm -hmm. And how does this differ from other you know, supplements or antioxidants on the market? Yes, uh, with respect to other supplements, that's a very interesting question. There was a study published in 2019, very recent, from the uh, Harvard and other Boston area hospitals funded by the National Institute of Health. Nearly 31,000 in, uh, individuals were studied that were taking health dietary supplements that include vitamin A, B, C, D, E, omega-3, omega-6, omega-9, all the vitamins, all the magnesium, calcium, iron, and they studied what happens to these 31,000 people in terms of longevity? Mm -hmm. And the result, nothing. They don't produce any increase in lifespan. None of those supplements. So if you, basically, if you go into a GNC equivalent type health store and you look on the shelves, most of those things are not proven to make you live longer. I'm not saying they're not healthy. I'm just saying the studies show that they don't get longer. Whereas the substances in AO Life are I have got hundreds of publications that are already published by scientists in the medical health journals that already demonstrate that they do produce an increased lifespan and increased health. Mm -hmm. And what kind of benefits will people see once they start taking the AO Life antioxidant? How will their energy increase? Will they look younger? Because I know you said it's anti-aging. So talk to us a little bit about the benefits that people can experience taking this vitamin. Yeah, that, that's a very subjective and a very good question. Uh, when I take it, I feel an extra burst of energy and I've been taking it ever since I created it nearly eight years ago. Some people feel nothing, but most people do feel something in, in terms of a heightened uh, feeling of, of energy. This is very good for athletes, for example, or just people doing sports. It's already been studied and published that people taking this hydroxytyrosol antioxidant in AO Life shortens their post-exercise recovery period. So those people that are doing sports actually do feel the benefit because they recover much faster after doing the sports. But for those people that are not athletes, it really does help. They, they feel uh, it, it, it improves sleep patterns, for example, better energy. It does help people to control their weight and in some cases can help to lose weight. In terms of anti-aging, people that have been taking this for a number of weeks for example, up to a month, they already feel it in their skin because it has proven benefits to protect collagen in the skin. It protects the dermal fibroblast, the skin cell that manufactures collagen, protects it from ultraviolet of the sun, protects it from the blue light rays of every smartphone that we're using because they have LED, mm -hmm. 410 nanometers. It protects it against the enzymes that naturally age our skin and make it thinner. Mm -hmm. It also, just taking AO Life doubles naturally your content in the skin of vitamin C. Even if you don't take vitamin C, you don't have to take it. You're getting free vitamin C. And as a last benefit for, for anti-aging, for people who are now into this new latest fad, which is called NMN, mm -hmm. NMN is the latest antioxidant, uh, not antioxidant, anti-aging supplement, because when you take it, it's supposed to increase your body's content of NAD+. Well, if you're taking AO Life, AO Life contains quercetin, which 
and uh, apigenin, which already naturally block the destruction of our own NAD+. So you don't even have to take NMN. You're getting the added benefit for vitamin C, NMN, plus the antioxidant of the hydroxytyrosol. So it's, it's a three-in-one anti-aging formula. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this product is that, you know, it has a medical backing as you created it as a doctor, which is really important that uh, people know that. So why did you want to bring this to the market? Because you've already been very successful in your career. So why did you want to add this kind of to your portfolio and bring this to the public? Yes, I, I wanted to bring it to the market because I had been practicing with real live patients all of my career and I felt that although I loved what I do I still lo still do it for my my private patients from a distance even here from Malaysia one-on-one -on -one by zoom or whatever means I can but rather than to help people one by one I thought I would bring my expertise to the masses and help people to really get a supplement to that that can bring them anti-aging not only for the skin and the beauty and the collagen but for the organs inside to help them lower their cholesterol decrease their risk of cancer decrease the risk of heart attack decrease the risk of stroke and decrease of course the risk of, of dementia such as alzheimer's disease but bringing them a substance that wasn't currently on the market there is no such liquid supplement on the market uh, there are pills that have similar type of content, uh, much weaker than, than this one. But when taking this by liquid, we did research that showed that the peak blood levels getting inside of your body when you drink this is actually 600% higher, six-fold higher than taking tablets. So this is a substance that we know is called, it's called bioavailability, -avail meaning once you drink it, you know that it's going to get into your bloodstream because it's been studied scientifically. And I love that, that it has anti-aging benefits, but it's also nourishing for your organs and your body. So I think that's incredible. You know, our show is all about inspiration and inspiring our audience. So Dr. Michael, I wanna ask you, uh, what advice do you have for entrepreneurs out there or people that wanna follow their dreams? Cause you've been incredibly successful in your career. So what advice would you have for someone that has a passion and maybe is afraid to start? Yes, I, I have a couple pieces of advice. One, today's world, we have uh, coaching. This is the latest thing. Some of you might be getting onto this uh, latest app fad called Clubhouse. That's just one way to do it. But I think if you can find a mentor or a coach, it doesn't have to be someone you pay, but it has to be someone you trust, somebody who has experience, and somebody who's willing to share with you their their philosophy and their wisdom and i think that's very important i had amazing coaching when i was young when i was just getting into medicine both in medical school but particularly when i was a resident studying radiology becoming at the university of california san francisco and learning radiology learning about mri scanning becoming a researcher uh, becoming a book writer an author uh, co-authoring or, or first authoring 67 scientific papers i had a, i had mentors I had great mentors that were, were I, will, I cannot thank enough, Professor Alexander Mar Margulis, my boss, Professor Charles Higgins, my, my, my leader in my cardiovascular imaging career that got me where I am today. And these people, I will never forget. And I think that every entrepreneur that, or even non-entrepreneur, anybody seeking success and wants, wants to get the first foothold in, in, in making that big step to becoming an entrepreneur, I would highly recommend trying to find a mentor, not even specifically in your field. Like if, it doesn't have to be an engineer if you're an engineer or a doctor if you're a doctor, but somebody who can give you the inspiration and the guidance to get, to get you to make that first step. Because for me, it was making that first step. And once I was able to do that, thank God I was able to follow up and continue uh, in, on my own pathway, but not without lots of help along the way. Mm -hmm. I think that's great advice and very true. I've had many mentors um, along my path um, professionally, as well as even my parents, my mom and dad are people that I ask for advice. They're both successful uh, entrepreneurs. They started, well, they're entrepreneurs now, but they started off um, in their careers, but I asked them for advice and, you know, having that guidance helps a lot, especially with people from experience. And I, the same thing happened in my career. So I think that's really great advice. Obviously, our viewers are gonna wanna buy this um, vitamin. So let's talk about where can people purchase it and uh, find out more information. Yes, currently the only place it can be purchased, we've just launched this globally. 
Uh, I meant to launch in North America and China where I was living, but I'm stuck here in Malaysia. Stuck. I mean, that's a. I'm not criticizing, but I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to say. So uh, the, my offices are in, in Singapore. We ship from there globally without a problem at aolife a o l i f e dot i o. That's the, the the shop where anybody can order online and have it shipped out immediately uh, globally. Um, we will have. Uh, Soon we'll, we'll have um, more ready, ready access in North America with shops, uh, etc., and, and retailers. Uh, but for now, they can order at aolife.io. Anybody that wants further information, scientific information, backup scientific PDF papers, I'm I interact with everybody. Michael at aolife.io. I'm happy to uh, uh, respond to anybody that has any questions. Uh, about anything about to do with the product or even just about health in general. That's what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Michael, so much for being on the show today. It's been incredible to hear your story and to hear about this product. I definitely want to try it. So please send me some. <laughs> you know, it's coming. In, it's, uh, it's going to be posted tomorrow. I'll, I'll get that to you tomorrow. And I'd love to get your feedback, Dariel. It's been wonderful to speak with you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and come back anytime. Oh, I would be on my pleasure. It's been a great pleasure to talk and uh, congratulations for all those wonderful questions you asked. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.